This is our Harman PC45 wood pellet corn stove with a boiler kit installed made by Crosslink Conversions. Uh, this has been a very good stove and now it's even better and I will explain how this kit works. I will start by noting some of the problems we had before we installed this uh, conversion kit. Um, just like any other corn stove or pellet stove, uh, the biggest problem is trying to get that heat distributed throughout the whole house. Um, our upstairs bedroom would be uh, 10 to 15 degrees colder than the main floor and of course the basement wasn't heated at all and the rooms on the opposite side of the main floor from the stove like the bathroom uh, were about 10 degrees cooler than the living area so with this kit I can make the hot water and distribute that heat throughout the house so it saved quite a bit uh, we saved quite a bit of money and it's much more comfortable we use about a bag and a half on a typical winter day uh, not quite two bags on the coldest days but uh, so to give you an idea of what we're heating with that quantity of fuel uh, I'm in northern Illinois uh, the house it's an old it's an old farmhouse built in 1905 uh, deep deep basement the house itself has uh, below average insulation and the basement's not insulated at all as you can see the concrete blocks um, but now with this it costs about 180 to 200 dollars a month to heat the house with wood pellets uh, before it was approximately four hundred dollars to heat with uh, LP and that was with turning it off during the day the, during the work day or when we weren't home so that's almost cut the costs in half with this kit so before this kit we were heating 800 square feet just the main floor now we're heating the whole house um, so to sum it up you know we're saving a lot of money with this kit a little here and there that really adds up because the majority of that's because we're using cheaper wood pellets rather than using propane uh, we're no longer supplementing the house with the propane furnace like we had to do before we installed this kit uh, we're no longer using electricity uh, for the electric heaters in the bathroom and for the bedroom that right there is a sixty dollar a month saving off the electric bill and I calculated that out with the um, kilowatt device here this is set to show monthly electricity usage right now I've got it set on the, the uh, corn stove and the circulator pump uh, it uses approximately seven dollars a month if it shuts off and on it's using the igniter more so that's generally it's closer to ten or eleven dollars a month it's still quite a bit cheaper than uh, the electric heaters I've calculated the fuel usage since we installed this kit um, we can heat more space with the same amount of fuel and I figured we can heat almost twice the space with about 15 percent more fuel and three times the square feet with 30 percent more fuel now doing that I'm using more fuel but I'm saving money because I'm not supplementing that with LP and electric heaters so the savings is quite significant and it's more comfortable now I'll try to answer a few questions people have been having like you know, how can you heat more square feet with the same amount of fuel or how can you heat three times the square feet plus domestic hot water with only 30 percent more fuel um, now I'm not a heating expert I'm, I'm getting these gains uh, the best I can best I can explain is that we're capturing more more of the heat from the single heat source uh, we're collecting uh, more BTUs through the mixing plate and coil um, in fact I I know we're collecting more 
I have a thermometer probe in the exhaust pipe that's showing about 300 degrees right now. Uh, typically that would be much higher. Um, so that right there is a good indication I'm losing less heat out the exhaust and that heat's being used to heat to heat the house. Um, we're also getting heat in two modes here. Uh, we're getting the hot water heat obviously and we're getting we're still getting the hot air out of the corn stove like we did before. So right now I'm at a a medium to low feed rate so it's not running at its peak but we're still getting 126 degree air out of the stove. Normally that's up around 150 or higher. So that by itself is heating the basement and the rest of the heat's heating the the uh, main floor and the upstairs. So with those gains, I think uh, those gains in addition to the fact that we can now take that those BTUs and distribute them throughout the house more efficiently than before. You know, before uh, the air came out of the stove, would rise to the ceiling. Um, that's why we would have 80 degree temperature at the ceiling, 70 degrees at the thermostat, and then the floor was at 60 degrees. Um, now we can distribute that heat uh, via the duct work of the furnace and get it evenly spread throughout the house. And then I can control what rooms get heat and how much. I can open and close the dampers on each duct. Um, so there's much more control and it's much more even and it's much more comfortable. Another way we're saving with this is that it now provides our entire supply of domestic hot water. I've got this hooked up to uh, a homemade tube and tube heat exchanger at the hot water heater. So it's able to provide 30 gallons of hot water, uh, once again eliminating the need for propane. Other gains might come from the fact that uh, uh, we don't have to heat the living room to 76 degrees to get the farther rooms warmer. Um, the stove now runs at a constant rate, it doesn't shut off and on. Um, another big improvement with this is that uh, now that we use the ductwork we can take advantage of the uh, whole house humidifier that I installed so um, puts humidity in the air which helps in the winter and it allows us to uh, turn the thermostat down a couple degrees and it still feels still feels comfortable